He's very hungry. <laughs> He's sitting on the other side of my kitchen window. I'll come out in a minute. You can see the meat. I've got the meat for the dogs on the, um, on the bench and he wants some. What? There's a window there. You can't come through. I'll come around. <laughs> I'm showing it to him through the window. No, you can't have it. Oh, now I'm just teasing you, aren't I? All right, all right. I'll come around. Hang on. <laughs> I know, I know. Oh, I must be very hungry. Hang on, hang on. I'll come around. All right, here we go. Now you're gonna have to just wait a minute because I've still got a spoon in in the. I've still got a spoon in it. Just wait. Come over here. Come over this way. Oh, stop. Hang on. Hang, hang on. Hang on. I haven't. I'm not ready yet. Just wait. Let me get my hand in here. Hang on. No. Oh gosh. Why are you all so impatient this morning? dog food you guys oh gosh anybody else want some you're little piggies today you know that don't you they don't like the camera <laughs> there you go come on do I have to come to you oh, goodness me you're very lazy what about you guys over there do you want some I'll throw some to you. There you go. How's that? You can't eat all the food. This is my last dog food packet. It's um, minced chicken carcasses. And that's the spoon. Just take what's on top of the spoon, please. All right, I'm going inside. You guys have made a big mess. You can have the leftovers. I'm going to feed the dogs now. <laughs> Maybe it's because it's rained so much they haven't been able to find any little insects and worms and things. I, I don't know, but they're very hungry today. guys welcome back I am going to try the platinum art class resin again the one that's really thick that sets up really fast <laughs> and um, it's really good for blooms so um, I've just mixed it I haven't waited because it like I said it's got a really short work time so um, I'm just gonna get started it's like you know when you're stirring like cold honey? It's like that. So I'm going to try again with my sort of peachy coloured one because the last one um, didn't really work the way I was hoping. So I'll go five. Five drops. Now this is just the um, cheapy, the Deco Rom that I got from Amazon. That's the cherry and now the tangerine. So just, just red and orange, and then I want to have some white petals around the outside. Just saw a hair in that. Let's see if I can get it out. Oop. Did I get it? I can't see if I got it or not. Let's hope I've got it. All right, so there we go. That's those two. I've got 30 grams in here. I'm going to go with the Carsten Craft again. Um, I'm just going to blend these two just so I don't get a definite sort of line between those two colours. So I'm going to go with the Carsten Craft again. Uh, last time I did two drops in 30 grams. I'm going to go with three drops this time. That's it there. Casting, not casting. I chopped the top off so that I can actually get a drop out. One, two, three. 
All right, I'll see how that is. And then I'm also going to put in four drops of the Pinata White Alcohol Ink. My bottle's getting a bit old. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do six instead. <laughs> oh, double the amount of what I've got of the paste. All right. So uh, three and six. Just writing that down. All right. Now. The good thing about having the, the paste in the little bottle is you don't get it on your stick. You know when you have to mix your pigment paste with your stick? And um, then the stick changes colour. So that doesn't happen with this because you've just dropped it in, you see. So you can tell straight away what your white's going to look like. All right, that's looking good. More opaque than it was last time. Last time it was a little bit too, <laughs> too transparent. Other than that, I didn't put enough on. So this is a 20 centimetre round. Let's see some more bubbles coming up. Hopefully, hopefully we'll get a nice, pretty kind of peachy colour. I'm going to try and blend that a little bit more just to get some of that red coming up. Like so, and then I do need to put some more of the the red in the centre so that it's darker in the centre. And then getting lighter. So that's another five of the red. All right. Okay, now like I said, we don't have to wait. I actually might use my stick this time just because I've got it. Normally I use my little other little tool, but... I use the stick this time. Now I'm going to put that around there like that so that I don't hopefully get too much drippage going in. All right now I'm going to start on the outside only because I want white petals on the outside. So what I'll do is I'll wipe the bottom and then use what's on the top of the stick to make my petals. And that way, hopefully, I'll get a nice thick amount of resin, of white resin going in there. Okay. You get a really pretty effect when you're doing it with the, the stick like this because you're getting a thicker area at that end and then it kind of tapers off. To a thinner area so you get a really pretty effect I'm just trying to keep my white white <laughs> just for the the top layer here I don't know what's going on there a bit of a blob did I spill something all right now um now, will I start in the middle or will I start, I might just keep going. Just while my white's still white, I'll do another row. Up near the top row. I don't think I've done one this big actually with this art class. Normally I only do the little coasters, only because it sets up so fast. It doesn't like to be poured too deep either, being a, a coating resin. Coating resins usually, you know, you pour quite shallow. Oops, it's dripping a bit. It kind of helps, but not totally. I need to sort of remember to tip my cup the opposite way, but I will catch those drops. I'll go through them with my stick. All right, now another layer or row. There we go. <laughs> oh, it's over. Isn't it awful when it's over too soon? <laughs> oh gosh. All right, now I'm going to put a little bit in my on my stick and just do that little swirl in the center like so. All right, so I've still got some left. Didn't need a lot 
but um, I've done it before when you know I've run out so I didn't want to run out all right now let's go in and have a little look just going to clean off my silicone brush here or stick just oh, there's a bit of I'm going to get apricot all the way up there and there's a little bit there that was touching the mold the touching the side of the mold you've got to make sure it's not touching otherwise it kind of sticks to the mold and then it doesn't pull in nicely like all the others do just seeing if there's any any blobs but it's it's a really it's like seriously it's a really thick resin um don't get the problem of the the blobbies I've, I've never had the problem of the blommies and it just blooms so beautifully look at that and, and we're done like easy didn't have to wait I just mixed it for four minutes I mixed quite slowly because it's got quite a lot of resistance really quite thick like I said like cold honey stirring it like that um, and then I poured it in there I weighed out 30 grams and I turned on my video and said hello so yeah I didn't I didn't wait at all so there you go let me clean up my mess and um, I'll bring you in just so that you can have a little closer look at at the petals um, what you can do like if you look at it at your piece and you think oh gosh I wish I had more petals you can definitely go in and do a second coat like if you want more around the outside but I don't I don't I don't think so I think it's going to spread enough um, that I don't need to do anything else to it but let's just go down and have a closer look whoops look at the outside like it's just this resin is just amazing it really is I did ask um, platinum to make me a really thick resin like this that's got a longer work time but um, they they did send one to me but it's actually thinner so I don't know I don't like to nag <laughs> my husband will tell you otherwise but <laughs> I don't like to nag but I'll keep I'll keep searching but for now this one works really really well I just can't do a huge piece I don't think I don't know maybe do you reckon I could do a clock I'll see how this goes like it was pretty quick and it's only 19 degrees in my studio at the moment um, if you if you pour it too thick it'll set up really quickly quicker but um, yeah it, hopefully it's not too thick I mixed up um, where's my chart here's my chart I mixed up I went 100 grams of A and 90 grams of B so I've got 190 grams in the one-to-one -one resin so that's what I did all right you guys um, I'll be able to unmold this later on today it'll only take a few hours and we'll be able to unmold so I don't think I'm going to do a background I just want to leave it like this all right see you soon right so it's been a few hours um, still a tiny bit bendy but I think it'll it'll come out okay so let's have a look look at that got some lovely transparency there haven't we should come out really easily hopefully we haven't got too many bubbles all right so that's the 20 centimeter now um, I'm going to put um, like I said, I wanted to keep the clear edges there, but I am going to just pop this little bit of black card over so that we can get the true effect. And if you want to, like, you know, you may not want to spend the time and the, the money and everything on doing a top coat if you're not sure if the other side's worked. So you can always unmold it, have a look. And then, um, I don't know if you can see, there's a little rim, little edge there. You can always top coat just a very thin coat of whatever color you choose afterwards so you don't have to do it all at once all right anyway let's have a look let's see how it's worked shall we are you ready <laughs> yeah
Here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh, I was not expecting it to be that pretty. Wow. Happy dance, happy dance. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is just incredible. Look at that swirl in the center there. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. That is, I'm just, I'm beyond words. Oh wow, that is just amazing. I love this resin. <laughs> I do. It is my favorite. I am going to have to try and do something a little bit bigger and see how far I can actually push this resin, like how big I can go, whether I can actually do a clock or not. Now, the actual petals themselves, have a look at the actual petals. I don't know if we can zoom in enough. Hopefully you can see. They've got like tiny little holes, like there's a little tiny petal inside each petal. Now, I don't know if that's because of the resin or is that because of the custom craft. I don't actually know. So I'm going to have to put that to the test and see, like do another one maybe in this size um, and use my usual white pigment paste and see if I get the same effect or not. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh wow, and I certainly got the red and the orange and the white, which is what I wanted. Oh wow. All right. Oh, I'm so happy that that's done and it's like it's three o'clock in the afternoon and I did this I don't know what 10 o'clock or something <laughs> and we're done and unmolded uh, just in a matter of a few hours so yeah it's really good the only problem is it has tiny little micro bubbles because it is such a thick resin you know it was designed to be a top coat resin not a casting resin so can't complain about that but um, I have been using the Art Coat, which is also thick, not as thick as this. And I've been getting really good results with the Art Coat as well. So I'll use both, no doubt, um, because they both work really well. So if you want some platinum resin, um, I have got links and coupon codes down below in my description. And um, they do have a warehouse over in the US now, so they're sending to many more countries than they used to. So yeah, check them out. Um, I'm not affiliated. I don't get a um, kickback or anything from the sales, but I'm just letting you know that that's where I get my resin from. All right. Love you and leave you. Got to go. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you real soon for the next video. All right. Hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.